Good morning, first grade. I hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So today we are going to take a quick look at complete sentences, using complete sentences. And we're also going to talk just a little bit here about some of the speaking and listening goals that we as first graders uh, talk about and have. So in first grade, of course, you know, we are learning all sorts of different things. But one of the things that we are learning is about is how to speak and listen with others. And whether we are in a virtual class or not, these same things still apply. And you probably remember from kindergarten or maybe even this year, remember Mrs. Bauer talking about whole body listening. And whether we are virtual or we are in person with someone, using our whole body to listen to them is a way to be a really great listener and something as first graders that we try to work on and become better and better at as the year goes on. And when we are using our whole body to listen, we are looking at the person that is speaking, we are listening to the person that is speaking, we're quiet so we're not talking over them, and our body is, you know, for the most part, pretty still. We're sitting or, or standing kind of still. We're not doing a bunch of other stuff where we would be distracted and wouldn't be able to hear what the other person is saying. And then something else that good listeners do is they pay attention for when the speaker pauses or takes a break. And that helps to tell us as the listener that they're finished with whatever it is they were saying. They're finished with their thought or idea and that it would now be a good time if we wanted to respond, uh, we could because they're finished with what they're saying. So see if you notice, uh, you know, I mean, people around you, if they pause and see if, you know, you notice that they paused and that they're finished with what they were trying to say. So being a good listener then also helps us to be a good speaker. And one of the things that good speakers do is that they, they speak or talk in complete sentences, just like good writers write in complete sentences, good speakers speak in complete sentences. And we've talked about this before in class, what makes a complete sentence complete. But if you think about a complete sentence and what the word complete means is that all of the parts are, or pieces are there. Right. A complete sentence has all of the parts and pieces to make it a complete sentence. Kind of like if you were trying to make a sandwich and you got out some peanut butter and jelly, but you didn't have any bread. Would it really be a sandwich then? Because you're missing one of the pieces or one of the parts of a sandwich. You don't have the bread. You would just have jelly and peanut butter. And that's kind of the same with complete sentences. Do you remember what makes a complete sentence complete? Yeah, if you were thinking that it has a subject, that is who or what the sentence is about. Complete sentences also have a verb, that's right. It tells us what the subject is doing. Complete sentences start with a, that's right, capital letter, and they end with some sort of punctuation. You're right, you got it. So those are the parts or pieces of a complete sentence. And right, it is a complete thought. There aren't any pieces missing in a complete sentence. So what you're going to do today for this activity is take a look at some groups of words and you are going to look for the groups of words that you think make a complete sentence and you're going to put a circle around them. So let me head on over to Seesaw and I'll show you uh, what you're going to do. Okay, that was a long trip over to Seesaw, but I'm here. I'm just teasing. All right, so when you open up your student response page, this is what it will look like. And you're going to use the pen tool. So just the pen tool here and any color that you would like. And we're going to read these together, but you can of course reread these groups of words. And you're just going to put a circle around the groups of words that you think are a complete sentence. They have all of the pieces or all of the parts that we talked about. And when a group of words does not have all the pieces and it's not a complete sentence, we call that a fragment. So just a word um, you know, to, uh, to hear, but they're called fragments. 
So we are looking for the complete sentences though. So the first one says, grasshoppers have strong legs. The second one says, grasshoppers strong. Number three, fables are stories that, number four, fables are stories with lessons or morals. And number five, the big elephant. All right, so using your pen tool, circle the groups of words that you think are complete sentences. They have all of the pieces. They have the subject, they have the verb, they start with a capital letter, they end with some sort of punctuation, and they tell a complete thought, right? All the, part, all the parts are there, they tell a complete thought. All right, so keep up the great work, and remember when you are uh, listening to use your whole body to listen when you're speaking, Try to speak in complete sentences so the other person can understand what you're saying and what you're trying to share and keep up the great work. All right. Talk to you soon. Let us know if you have any questions.